Star Wars Battlefront 2, recently getting a reveal trailer at Star Wars Celebration in Orlando, Florida. Now, Battlefront 2 is coming with some features from its predecessors, such as the class system from the original Battlefronts. But it's also taking some new features from EA's newer titles, Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1. With the next game for pre-ordering on many platforms, we have noticed there is no season pass. Now if there is no season pass for extra paid DLCs on Battlefront, how are they going to make some extra re revenue? Because everybody knows how much EA loves their extra paid content. Well anyways, from the game's pre-order description along with the little in-app purchases remark, it seems to be hinting towards some type of battle pack and scrap system just like in Battlefield 1. For those who don't know how that system works, I recorded a little bit of gameplay to show you as an example. You get a battle pack almost randomly, but the better you do gives you a way better chance of getting one. Battle packs give you purely cosmetic rewards, skins for weapons and tanks. Now what you see here is the description of the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Deluxe Edition. Right there it says exclusive Kylo Ren and Rey themed Deluxe. The question is, how would other things like that be distributed? Well, through battle packs, or whatever DICE slash EA decides. Battle packs now can either be earned by doing well in a match, being bought by scraps, and through real life currency. Adding battle packs to Battlefront could mean lots more customization, progression, if they decide to add gameplay affecting items, and a longer gaming experience for the player base. Customizations such as custom pauldrons and designs for the pauldrons, weapon and star card skins, blaster bolt color, design, designs for different weapons and vehicles such as ATSDs or A-Wings, and even a fully customizable hero wardrobe. Also, they could add gameplay affecting items, which was mentioned earlier. Now what are those? There are certain items that affect the game, unlike skins and designs. Adding different scopes or bipods, different blaster modifications that are exclusive to the battle packs. They will not only make people stay interested in the game longer, but also will add value to the battle packs and make EA the extra money that was taken from them when they decide to not include the season pass. From content from all three Star Wars eras, there is endless possibilities to keep the longevity of the game. Let me know in the comments below what you'd think if they add battle packs to Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's all for me today. Potatoes out.